Okay, we're back with Ivan Savage and the Peaceful Savage Show. So, Ivan, we were just talking about um, the uh, the Antichrist right. and, and the beast. So-called. Yeah, the so-called, so-called Antichrist and the beast and the false prophet. And we were talking about the words uh, me- Messiah, Mishiach, Mashiach. versus Christ. Right. And uh, so go, go on and pick back up where you were at there. Mashiach means saint or righteous person. So anyone, and, and, and a saint or righteous person is defined as anyone who keeps the law of Yahweh. That's what a saint is. Anyone can be saint, not just who these popes do. You know, uh, it's anyone who keeps the law of, uh, of Yahweh is actually a saint or righteous person. So we all become Mashiach when we accept the law unto ourselves by the pardon of the Messiah. They created this Jesus Christ guy to tell everybody that, you know, he's Mercury, he's Zeus, he did everything for you, you don't have to do anything. He's not, you know, you just have to sit and wait for the Holy Spirit to finish his work in you. It's not, they they teach this ideology that basically all you have to do is sit on your ass and everything's going to be handed to you, and that's just not the case. That's not what the manuscripts actually say. That that brings a real uh, big question is, uh, Study chap- to show yourself approved. Second chapter of Acts. Right. Uh, the Holy Spirit descends upon the apostles. What is all that stuff? That is the the, the understanding of the law, the the aha moment, understanding what righteousness really is and what spirit holy really is. It's That's not the Holy Spirit. So they had it's that. It's ruach kodesh, which so is spirit holy, spirit the opposite holy. way around. The so only the only way to be holy, separate is to do what everybody else is not doing, which is being righteous. Right. So they had an aha moment, and then at that point... And not to say that they didn't have any vision or understanding of it at the time, either. You know what I'm saying? They're, the the spirit is moving in constant motion. It's in constant motion. Always in play. There's always been a remnant of understanders upon the earth, even within the darkest cycle which is now that's why the Messiah is talking about it hasn't been this way since the beginning and nor will ever it be it's because you know this is going to end up being the worst of it this is going to be the worst cycle of all yeah wow meaning what do you mean by like, the worst cycle the, the, the most expenditure of energy the most uh, chaotic the most brutal as far as the, wicked, the wickedness that people are, are becoming. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you take a look around the world, and I mean, it's kind of funny how you know we talk about cleanliness and all this other stuff. You know, oh, wash your hands. You just went to the bathroom. Oh, you know, there's a hair in my in my in my stew. You know, there's a hair in my kielbasa. You know, we go we do all these different things when it comes to like cleanliness. You know, oh, watch your kids' germs. You better use the, the hand sanitizer on the hands. They're gonna get germs in the mouth and get sick. You know, like. But when it comes to sex, all that goes out the window, and we're sticking tongues in buttholes and other things. You know what I mean? Like, all cleanliness completely goes out the window when it comes to sex. Everything pretty much comes goes out the window when it comes to sex. As soon as somebody gets turned on, their minds just go through this irrational and I'm not saying that I'm, you know, you know, not one of those people in my past. You know, it just happens, you know, but that we lose all function. We lose almost all function, all rational, all logic, all reason. We just get lost in it. Now I've heard some people back in the uh, the old religious circles say the marriage bed is undefiled. The marriage. The marriage bed is undefiled, meaning like pretty much anything goes with the love of your with your love and your. Well, and right. It's it, there's it's one thing to lust for a neighbor's wife. It's another to lust for your own. You know, there's there's a certain you know it kind of like the whole yin and yang theory. You have to use righteous judgment as to know. You know what is the, what is acceptable and what is not. You know, the desire to transgress and act unrighteously is always with us. You know, but we must overcome it in order to live to the you know go to into the next age. So is that in our nature? Is that how we are? Designed? Well, we're a composite beings. So speaking of nature, you're speaking of the animal half. The animal half. So in our, the animal half. So 
So the whole story of Adam There's and the light half as well. Right. The Adam overcoming and by the mind and by intention, overcoming the physical nature is overcoming your animal nature, which by in turn turns you into a light being, you see? Right. A, right. a righteous being. But going back like to the Adam and Eve story and that whole thing um, about uh, sinful nature, um, can you explain a little bit about that? Like, um, well, let's first revert back to what we were talking about with Mashiach. It kind of goes well in hand, you know, that throughout history, especially within the manuscripts, and when it gives us an account of these different histories, it's nonstop brother betraying brother. 